Leia Bakar. I am originally from Los Angeles, but I have been living in New York for about 20 years. My name is Monica Dujara Punkin, and I am a company member of Alunike Collective, and I live in Brooklyn, New York. My name is Dennis Ria Lee. Uh, I'm originally from Taiwan, but right now I'm New York based, and I represent one of the members in our limited collective. We are also a collective uh, based in the United States. Our limited collective is an experimental theater collective that uh, does work based on social and political issues, um, very much in the realm of ritualistic theater as well. Uh, the company's practice is very much rooted in experimental theater, in ritual, in activism. Uh, we tend to uh, work a lot with the community. We tend to also work a lot with um, poetry, uh, different types of art, and we also work with people that are non-performers so that we make art accessible to everybody, um, as well as creating uh, with other artists. So with All Limite Collective, we work a lot with frontline communities. We work in the streets, we work in public spaces, we make theatrical disruptions and rituals. We, we really want to create, co-create with, with communities. So we're, um, we work a lot with refugee and immigrant communities. We work in other countries, in Brazil and Mexico and Greece, um, at the border in Mexico. And we're working to create theater that immediately responds to an immediate social issue injustice or to work towards liberation for each person we create with. The Our Limited Creation, uh, it's more like a multidiscipline uh, company. We utilize video art, uh, audio art, and live performances, playing in uh, the form of ritual or a, play, uh, a form of happening. Uh, the company tends to have a lot of discussions, so out of the discussions where we feel that uh, the topic is very much a topic that we all gravitate towards or care about, out of there comes the initiation of a project or the initiation of an idea of how to move forward, a story, uh, a sentence, a plot line, anything that we gravitate towards as a group, we start from that format and then we build on top of it. So we do a lot of physical work as well to kind of physically interpret uh, what we're talking about, and we also do a lot of different research and work together to co-create uh, shows and, and experiences that we feel are important to us and to society uh, at this moment. Our process is very much involved with, through workshop, a workshop model. We like to do intensives to, to use um, physical theater tools and a lot from what we've learned and done together because all of us came from the living theater previously and then we created this new company out of that so we use a lot of those devising tools and teach those to communities that we work with and that's how we start to generate and create new material together based on discussions we have based on localized issues and um, and we we really try to create horizontally and, and decentralized and um, work in a non-hierarchical structure so that we're all artistic directors in the company and whoever has ideas will we'll work with those and then create um, collaboratively. We started by uh, going back to the practices that we already inherited from another company that's called The Living Theater and we questioned ourselves what is the message we were trying to spread it out to the society and what can we do to the society and based on that very very core question we start developing different uh, art to speak to that. Uh, Limite I think has been brewing for many years but the company officially started in January 2020 at the dawn of 2020 and we felt the need to sort of break free from um, the structures that we had already been existing in and just starting completely new and uh, bringing together a group of people that were completely diverse from different backgrounds, uh, different countries, and starting uh, to create new work out of a diverse perspective that we hadn't seen in a long time and we felt that we could represent um, different cultures, different parts of the world all together. And so we decided to create uh, a group that reflected the diversity that is, is needed very much in art.
L Limited was born in January 2020. It was the moment when we decided to challenge ourselves what other things that we could do as a collective and also to challenge that very notion of institution. How do we move forward as a group that essentially there's no leader, there's no hierarchy. How can we do works in that way? Unlimited Collective started officially in January 2020, but we've worked together as a, as a collective for many, many years in the Living Theatre as well before that. We're exhibiting six videos um, that come from our Liminal Archive project. So uh, these six videos are, are just little slices from a, a much bigger open source project where people submitted their interpretations of a text that we um, accumulated together after we gave prompts out to people that we knew from all over the world and so six of these videos are six different responses that you'll be able to see um, from a much bigger open source project where people are doing the exact same thing. We are exhibiting six videos uh, that we created throughout the pandemic. Uh, it's all coming into the same project that's called Liminal Archive. Liminal Archive is a, a multimedia project uh, play off this ritual that our, our collective has been doing together and we want to see if we can archive and document uh, our life experiences for the last year during the pandemic, what are things people were experiencing and are experiencing. So this archive essentially is to uh, keep that period of time in our life together. We're exhibiting at Distance 2021 the Liminal Archive, which is a project that we started uh, just after the pandemic hit in New York City. And since we work a lot internationally, we, um, we couldn't continue to do that work. So we wanted to bridge that distance and, and continue and maintain those connections with people that we work with around the world. So we posed these three questions to them, these prompts. This is the end of, this is the beginning of, this is the continuation of. And they all wrote their own responses to this in poetry, in prose, in theater. And then we've collected that and collated that into a larger open source document, which is available to, for anyone to be inspired by and to create a performance by that. So then we'll have someone write something in Greece and then someone in Brazil create something inspired by it and so it's it's a continual um, continually generative process of, of this cross collaboration around the world so that we are documenting and archiving how people are experiencing especially how artists are experiencing and finding ways creatively to get through the pandemic together it was created uh, due to distance. Distance was the, the greatest factor um, of why we decided to create this project since it started uh, right at the beginning of the pandemic where everyone was unable to travel, unable to see each other, um, far away from each other, locked up in their houses. Some people were alone. Uh, some people hadn't seen their family in a long time. So the subject of distance was a great one that we were all uh, collectively sharing. And so from that, we really wanted to find a way to be together without physically being able to be together. During the pandemic, we lost that physical intimacy. And we, we do believe that as we are moving into a new era with all the technology, distance is no longer really an issue. And instead, it is a way for us to see how virtual space can supplement the reality of which that we are missing. The Liminal Archive links directly to the theme of distance because it came out it came out of distance and that we weren't able to to go on these tours and to work directly with people. So we found ways to close the gap and to close the distance and work together virtually um, in sort of like this um, chain mail way of continuing the work. I think we're very much inspired actually by by community and even by people that have nothing to do with art. So uh, we're very much inspired by farmers, workers, uh, activists, um, families, uh, people, you know, street vendors, anybody that has anything to do with the, the thread of life and, and what they contribute to it. We find inspiration in, in children and grandparents and in pretty much everyone, in, in community members and the citizens. And our toe is definitely one of the, 
the great figures that influenced uh, the, the practice of El Limite. It is that very notion of theater of the totality that everything around, our, around us, the environments, the objects, the people, and the, the spirits that informed us who we are, and we are only to manifest that, to find a way to represent all those things in our practice so that people, when they come to see our art, they will feel that experience. You can find it, uh, find out more about us on our website, uh, alimitecollective.com, or also on Instagram and Facebook, uh, at A-L-L-I-M-I-T-E-C-O-L-L-E-C-T-I-V.